What's up guys, it's Devin Erko, and today I will be playing The Grand Crossing once again because there's still two new morphs that I haven't made showcases on. So today, I'll be showcasing another one of those morphs. Let's go. Alright guys, so the mercenary team is real cool. It doesn't give you anything outside of the morph, unfortunately. It would be cool if it gave you like a sick hood like it has, but unfortunately it doesn't. Now like the scientist morph, the mercenary morph has two sides, good and evil, so you can be either a good mercenary or an evil one and fight on either side. So that's what makes it kind of cool, because whether you want to ally with TNI or whether you want to be a KOS team, it's all your choice, uh, all inclusive in one game pass, uh, and it's it's not that expensive. The mercenary game pass is only one thousand five hundred robux, uh, about you know one thousand four hundred ninety nine because they like to do that, as opposed to the scientist, which is two thousand two hundred. So again, you have two options: friendly mercenary, enemy mercenary. You can choose either of them. Uh, it kind of looks like the friendly mercenary has less of a neck than the enemy mercenary. But you spawn. I wonder, did they fix the hood thing? Because you're supposed to be able to equip the hood by pressing K. Oh, um, I guess not. So the mercenary comes with... Nope. Famas. Famas. Uh, in the mercenary's colors. Uh, fair fire rate. Uh, 35 ammo. It does fair amount of damage. Uh, and then you've got the dual MP7s. Fairly fast fire rate, faster than the FAMAS. Um, it has a standard damage for MP7s, but it, it's... You're shooting two MP7s. They alternate. Uh, you got dual revolvers. These also alternate, which is strange because it only has six ammo between two revolvers. Uh, not sure how that works, but alright. Then it has dual swords with some sick animations. I am going to get on my alt account, get my alt account in here, and I will show you how much damage each thing does. Alright, so just like last time, I'll meet my alt down inside... Oh, they don't have a right click anymore, it's only left click, which is unfortunate. Alright, so we're back with my alt. Uh, looking good with those sunglasses again. And uh, he's ready to get shot a bunch. So, Famous first. So it looks like it does about 12 damage every time. Uh, which is fine damage for this speed. So it's not bad. It should only take about... I don't know. It should only take 9 shots to kill someone. And it's an accurate weapon. I mean, very accurate. Look. It hits shots almost every time. Then we got the dual revolvers. That does about 25 damage every time, so it should only take 4 shots to kill someone. Pretty good. Um, I mean, if you want to really drain an enemy's health, if you have good aim, then these revolvers are definitely the way to go. Because it's a 4 hit kill if they're not... Um, if they're not gaining health, but it'll probably come out to about a 5 hit kill, which you have ammo for if you choose your shots correctly, but um, yeah, I mean I wouldn't use them, I'm not really one to go for the revolver, uh, but you know, if you are, then these are pretty good. Now on to MP7s, uh, they do 10 damage every time, uh, and they have a fairly fast fire rate. So it should only take you probably 11 shots to get it, because there is health regen. Uh, I can show you what 11 shots look like. That was 11 shots. That's all you need to hit him for. Uh, and finally, dual swords. Uh, this I saved for last because it's probably going to kill him. Yeah, it's an insta-kill. I'm just going to come out with the suggested loadout uh, by me. 
I like to put MP7, even though FAMAS uh, is probably better than it. I just, I like the look of dual weapons. Uh, then I choose Sniper, Plasma Launcher. Then if I'm on the enemy team, I choose these. If I'm not, I go Health, Med Pack, Dual Revolvers, FAMAS, no, Medi Nade right here. Then FAMAS, then Dual Revolvers. And then whatever the heck you want for the last slot. White Saber, if they ever come out with the ability to roll again. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. I, I, I enjoy rolling. It's how I would finesse people. If, if I can't finesse people, then what do I have, really? So, now we arrive to the part, is it worth it? If they can make the hood work, it's a very cool looking morph. Uh, it doesn't have a lot in terms of gear and stuff, so... There's a bunch of other game passes that have a little bit cooler um, abilities or gear, uh, but this one does have the option to go into ally or enemy team, so it's like you're getting two game passes for the price of one. So is it worth it? Absolutely. I I am very happy with this purchase. So if you have Robux, then I would suggest buying it, and if you need Robux, then I've got good news for you right now. If you're watching this within the first few days that it's up, right now I have a giveaway going on. Uh, go to my first video on the new update. It should be labeled giveaway. And uh, all you gotta do is watch the video through and you'll get the way that you uh, register for the giveaway or whatever. It's a thousand Robux. Uh, currently, I'm only planning on one winner, but I don't know. If if I get a lot of support on my videos, then I might make it two winners, and then two people, two lucky people, will go home with 1,000 Robux, which is quite a bit. It could be that last little push you need uh, to get this Game Pass or the Scientist Game Pass or whatever. But other than that, I'll uh, I'll show you the enemy Game Pass real quick the enemy mercenary. Uh, it, it spawns in mercenary spawn, which is this new thing. Uh, there's options for events to be hosted. A little bit of lag there, sorry about that. There's options for events to be hosted. Look at this. Hi, I'm hosting event. Yes, yes. Uh, it also has a portal. It has a few rooms over here. I believe this is supposed to be a camera room. Let's see if they got the cameras working. Why am I lagging so much? They did not indeed get the cameras working. So, uh, hopefully they can get them working within the next few weeks. Another thing I wanted to check out was whether the jetpack glitch was gone. Jetpacks have had a problem recently where if you run out then your jetpack unequips instead of just recharging. Oh, we're good. But it doesn't look like it completely... Oh, wow. A little bit of glitch with it. Uh, when I scroll over it, it, um... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, they gotta fix some things. But other than that, guys, thank you for joining us today. It's been quite the time showing you this game pass. Uh, if you end up buying it, uh, leave a comment down below. And if you appreciate the video, leave a comment down below too. And like and subscribe because I have one more Game Pass video to come out on this game. And then who knows, maybe I'll do other videos like challenge videos. Maybe I'll just do a trolling on the border video. Who knows. But other than that, uh, this will be about it. Uh, thanks for joining us. And I will see you guys next video. Have a nice day.